Hey guys, Alex from Central Florida Enthusiasts, and we gotta talk about Bush Gardens Williamsburg and their 2021 project. So let's go. All right, so let's get down to it. So first thing is first, Bush Gardens Williamsburg actually just recently filed a proposed um, site plan, and it's essentially a map, a topographical map of the area, and it shows um, it shows how how this structure affects uh, the surrounding area, and they have to submit that to the local government. Um, just because the Rhine River is actually pretty well protected. Um, with that being said, um, this information has been made available to the public, and. Um, bgwfans.com they actually posted an article and that's and that's pretty much where we've gotten all of our source uh, source information from on this um, particular in, uh, incident I'll also be sharing the link down in the description and essentially uh, what we found out is it looks like it could go one of two ways it could be a clone of Red Force at Ferrari World, um, which is a part of the Port Aventura Resort over in uh, Barcelona, Spain. It could be like that. It could also be something entirely different. Um, one thing we feel pretty certain on is we feel pretty certain that it's going to be an Intamin. Um, because also BGW fans also posted a few months ago um, a could be fake, but it's it's more than likely true. Um, so we'll call it rumored. Um, a, a rumored um, station floor plan, essentially, and um, it showed the train and it showed basically four rows and it looked like two across. It looked like the size of an Intamin train. Um, we could be wrong. It could be the BM stadium seating, I guess. Um, found on Intimidator, Diamondback, Shambhala at, at Port Aventura. Um, could be something similar to that. Although, it's not likely. It it looks to be more likely. Um, it looks like it's going to be an Intamin, and it, uh, if you actually go and read the article, um, they actually share pictures in it. And basically, um, basically, there are some footers that look like they're not particularly included um, with the actual layout. The uh, everything involving with the layout is colored. And there are some markings on the topographical portion of it that aren't colored at all. Um, and that could be the old drop and fire um, footers. And that's where all of this is going. Um, over in the uh, October Fest section of the park. So it really depends on if they use those footers left over from Dragon Fire. Uh, if they do, then I have no clue um, what's it going to be like. Um, if they don't, it feels pretty certain that it's going to be a uh, Red Force clone, which is not a bad thing. That is an absolutely fantastic fit for this part. Um, it's just, I think a lot of people were, uh, and myself included, were getting pretty excited about a traditional gig of coming to this part that, that's been rumored for what seems like this has been a river pretty much ever since Millennium Force, um, I believe. Or, at the very least, ever since Ideal 5 happened. 
um, it's been a rumor for at least nine years, going on ten years. So, I think this is going to be an awesome addition. I think if it does go the Red Force route, I think Pantheon will be the better ride. If it doesn't, I think, I think, um, this could be one of the best coasters in the world, um, cause Busch Gardens Williamsburg is a, uh, train park, and we haven't really seen a, yeah, we haven't seen a giga, a, a train giga before so this this could be one of the best coasters ever made um, if it goes the traditional giga route then yes easy this is gonna be one of the best coasters ever made um, red force it'll be it'll it'll still be either number one or number two or number three best ride in the park Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. This is Alex from Central Floor Enthusiast. Um, please consider subscribing if you haven't already. Uh, if you already are, hit that bell notification so you can stay up to date with everything we do. Um, give us a like, and especially for this one, leave, leave us a comment, uh, especially for this one. Uh, anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. This is Alex checking you out. Bye.